hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you are a healthcare worker or training to become one, mastering intravenous IV access is a crucial skill that you cannot afford to overlook. Despite its importance, however, the reality is that many healthcare professionals often struggle with inserting an IV, especially in difficult patients. In today's video, we're going to talk about a common challenging scenario. What happens when an initial IV attempt fails? We'll take you through the troubleshooting process for difficult IV access. We will demonstrate a technique that can turn a challenging situation into a success. And specifically in this video, we will explore how to transition from traditional methods to ultrasound guided IV access, a technique that can enhance precision and increase the success rate. However, I will also show you what the operators in this video missed if they had read our new difficult IV access book published on Amazon.com and watched the videos that come with the book, they would not need an ultrasound to begin with. But let's get started with the video. Whether you're a seasoned professional looking to refine your skills or a student eager to learn, this video is tailored to help you overcome one of the most common hurdles in healthcare. Let's get on it and make a difficult IV access a thing of the past. Okay, so here's another difficult IV access. One attempt here, one attempt here, one attempt here. One here, where else? Here. One here. And while we're getting ready for ultrasound guided IV access here, check out, we have actually missed altogether this vein that's easily accessible by traditional methods. A 20 gauge catheter with the catheter tip bent up is all they would take to cannulate this vein. But let's get on with the video. When using ultrasound to visualize veins, don't forget to turn the gain up. You have to increase the gain in order to visualize or better visualize, particularly the peripheral veins. Uh, you see the vein right here. Many professionals are quick to point out, yeah, just use ultrasound for a difficult IV. However, keep in mind that oftentimes the peripheral veins like this are very superficial, easily compressible by ultrasound and more difficult to see and cannulate, and they are of very small caliber. This one is only three to four millimeters, as you can see on this scale here. This is one centimeter, and therefore the vein is no larger than three to four millimeters in diameter, which makes it very challenging to cannulate by ultrasound. You need extreme skills for this. What is that's a potential, so just increase the gain. You want to increase the gain as much as, as you need to, so you can see the, the vessels. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Notice how with ultrasound guided IV access, you really need a longer catheter because you're going to lose some length visualizing the needle and a catheter before you enter the vein. It's a rather small size vessel, but that's all that we got. So the tip appears to be in the vein, so stay there. Let's see if we have a flashback. Not quite yet. Let's go back to. Okay, looks like we're now doing the creep up technique. And now we clearly have a flashback inside. And we continue tracking the needle catheter inside the vein. There you go. And while this ultrasound guided IV access was pretty clean, not contaminated by blood, Never fail to use the probe covers that protect not only the patient, but also the probe and a cable attached to it. It is a must for ultrasound guided IV access. Probe covers. This, however, being here also would have been a potential even without the ultrasound. Now it's now it's going to be 
this one, eh? Voila. This one comes here. So now we have protected the insertion site. And now they use this. Yes, that's yeah. also good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we need to undo this one. Put this. There we go. This is not going anywhere. Done. Thank you for watching this video on navigating the challenges of difficult IV access. I hope you found the techniques we demonstrated, especially the use of ultrasound, informative. And if you want to expand your skills further, don't forget to check our new book, Mastering Difficult IV Access, available now on Amazon.com. This comprehensive guide is packed with insight, step-by-step -step techniques, and exclusive clinical video content that can help you master IV access without the need for an ultrasound. By integrating the practices from our book into your routine, you will enhance your ability to handle even the most challenging IV scenarios with confidence and efficiency of an anesthesiologist. It is an essential resource written by tips and tricks from anesthesiology experts for any healthcare professional dedicated to improving their IV skills. Click on the link in the description below to grab your copy today and start transforming the way you approach IV access. Your journey to becoming a proficient healthcare professional in IV is just a book and a click away. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to our channel and never miss more videos like this. Until next time.